Good morning, HF, and welcome to the Tuesday edition of the VTV Show. I'm Lauren Parker. Today's show is packed full of announcements from clubs, classes, and teams, and we're here to bring it all to you. Plus, have a little fun, too. In just a little bit, we're going to give you a chance to win some free stuff. And in order to win, you've got to be following us on Twitter. So make sure that you follow us at Viking VTV. That contest is coming up in just a little bit. But before we get to that, there's all kinds of things happening in the world of clubs. And Tiki Brown is here with all the info. What's up, HF? Tiki Brown with all the latest in when clubs are meeting. Check out these two meetings today happening after school. If you sing in your church choir, please consider using your talents with the HF Inspirational Voices. The 2017 kickoff rehearsal will be held from 3.15 to 5 p.m. in North 233 today and tomorrow. Everyone is welcome. The HF Chess Club will have its first informational meeting today in B5 after school. All skills and levels of play are welcome. See Mr. Vonges in B5 for more information. Looking ahead till tomorrow, Operation Snowball will be having a bake sale in the cafeteria and a meeting in the staff cafeteria after the sale. Also, Snowball Small Group leader applications are out. Apply as soon as possible and schedule an interview in the guidance office. Chinese Club meets for the first time this semester tomorrow from 3.15 to 4 p.m. in room 205 North. All are welcome to join for learning more about China and the culture. And finally, the HF Christian Player Club will begin meeting this Friday in room 104 North after school. If you believe there is a power in prayer, then come and join with people of faith who have the same intentions. That's your club update. I'm Tiki Brown. Thanks, Tiki. Sounds like our 70 or more clubs that we have at HF are getting into full swing. We'll always keep you up to date. Keep tuning in here. Have you followed us on Twitter yet? That contest that you could win some free stuff is coming up right after May Van Etten with your news update. Thanks, Lauren. Here's a few things you need to be aware of and put on your calendar. On Thursday, September 7th, the League of Women Voters will be registering voters who will be 18 by November. It will take place in both lunchrooms and you must have two IDs and know your social security number. Librarians Mrs. Harper and Mrs. Rodriguez want to congratulate all students who read some great books over summer break. The library is now collecting summer reading journals from those students who signed up for the 2017 Summer Reading Program. Please, students, please bring your completed journal to the library by Friday, September 1st to receive your prize. Looking for a club that works around your sports and other activities? Interested in doing good for your community while receiving service hours for your college or job application? Look no more. Key Club is for you. Stop by Miss Clue's room in E2 throughout the school day for your application form. Upcoming first meeting date will soon be announced. Interested in becoming a WHFH 88.5 FM radio DJ but miss the informational meetings? There is still time to sign up, but you'll need to hurry as the radio show schedule will be finalized this week. See Mr. Grijalva in room E16 for details and go to vikingtelevision.com to access the Google Form application. If you've already applied, check your email today. Zubak Club will have its first meeting on Wednesday, September 6th in E29 at 310. If you like animals, then come out and learn what Zubak Club is all about. That's what's coming up at HF. I'm Mae Van Enn. Let's send it over to Griffin Carter who has all the latest in HF sports. All right, glad to be with you guys on this Tuesday afternoon. Just a few sports reminders for you and one score from the weekend. Condi strength and conditioning will be on Monday through Thursday, weekly from 3.15 to 5.35 p.m. For the fall and winter, this will be held in the North Weight Room. This information can be found on our athletic website under Open Gym. There will be pickup Ultimate Frisbee after school at the freshman soccer fields outside of A Building. The first day is Wednesday, September 6th after school. It's that time of the year again, Powder Puff. Only the first 40 seniors and 40 juniors to sign up for Powder Puff will play. Permission slips are now available in the activities office in the South Building. Fees to sign up and play are $15. A t-shirt is included. An informational meeting for boys basketball will be held this week on Friday, September 1st in room 101 North at 315. Please be prompt. One score in from the weekend, the football team started the season off with a 63-21 win over Michigan City. Justin Hall led the team with five touchdowns. The team goes on the road to North Carolina this week. You can follow their entire trip through the VTV Twitter page. Okay, that's all the sports announcements I have for you today. In the Sports Corner, I'm Griffin Carter. 
All right, we're seconds away from a contest that will award one lucky winner some great stuff. The contest begins right after we take a look at who is celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday to all of you celebrating your special day today. Okay, enough talk about this contest, let's get to it. Up for grabs today is a prize package that includes a VTV t-shirt, the latest HF water bottle from the campus store, and a football gear package that will get you ready for the next game. The prize goes to the person who can write the best headline for this picture. Think up a fun headline and tweet it using the hashtag VTV headline. If your headline is chosen as the best one on our show Thursday, you'll win the prize package. If you want to get a better look at the picture, we've tweeted it out. Okay, that's going to do it for the first announcement show of the season. Thanks for watching, and make sure you tune in tomorrow for the VTV E! Show, produced by Asante Hayes. Until then, have a great day. For everyone here at VTV, I'm Lauren Parker. We end the show today with a visit from our assistant principals. Hello, I'm Dr. Cook, Associate Principal here at Homewood Flossmoor Community High School. And I'm Mr. Dan, the Assistant Principal here at Homewood Flossmoor. Here, we just wanted to just give you a little recap of the Dean's presentation that was presented to our students about two weeks ago about the expectations that we have here at Homewood Flossmoor High School. First, IDs. Students, you are to have your IDs on your person at all time. So when a staff member or someone asks you for your ID, please have it available. Also, you're going to need your IDs available for football games, dances, and other events. And you're going to need your ID for lunch, if you use your ID for lunch. Just to recap dress code a little bit, um, ladies, just make sure if you wear a tank top, the straps on the tank top are about two inches thick or thicker. Um, in terms of your skirts or shorts, they need to be no higher than four inches above the knee. Um, we don't want any midriff showing or any excessive cleavage showing. Um, guys, we do not allow sagging pants here, so keep, please keep your pants at your waist. Um, and then also, in terms of the content that's on your clothing, just make sure that it's appropriate for school. Um, we, don't, we don't allow students to wear anything that promotes drugs, alcohol, gambling, or um, any type of inappropriate language. Attendance, please be here on time and here every day. When you get up to about six, maybe seven absences per semester, you may get a phone call or you may be referred to the dean's office by one of the deans and you may be placed on an attendance contract. Also, arrive to class on time. You have up to five tardies before there's a possibility that you may be dropped from that class. So be here every day and be here on time. In terms of conflict resolution, we know that you are going to not get along with everybody here at Homewood Flossmoor High School. And when those situations arise where you are having a conflict with another student, Here's what we expect. We expect you to go to a dean, go to a counselor, go to a teacher, someone that can help you resolve your issue with that student in an appropriate manner. We do not want you to try and handle the situation on your own, especially if you know it has potential to get heated. We want you to utilize our resources so that we can prevent any type of conflict, verbal altercation, physical altercation, or fight, so that we can avoid any type of suspension and you being out of school. And finally, earbuds and headphones. Please remove your earbuds and headphones coming into the building and exiting the building. Not exiting the building, but coming into the building. You are allowed to wear your headphones and earbuds in the cafeteria, in the morning, during lunch, and after school. But prior to that, you are not allowed to wear your earbuds and headphones throughout the school building. So my suggestion to you is do not put your headphones or earbuds in until you're about to exit the building or Take them off right before you come into the building. Thank you. Thank you. Go Vikings.